What's up everybody, RetroPie Guy here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to navigate through your audio settings on RetroPie. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our main menu. So we're gonna actually hit start on our gamepad, which will pull up the main menu here. We're gonna go down to the second option, which is sound settings. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now here we have all of our sound settings. If you want to change your audio device, um, which would be if you're maybe using a headphone um, a pair of headphones through the audio jack on your Raspberry Pi 4, or maybe you have speakers plugged in through that same jack, you actually wanna go in here to the audio device and change this over. So you would select audio device, and you would jump down to headphones here. You just select that, so now you see the audio device is pulling from the um, audio jack for headphones. Um, if you have speakers, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. You can either go into speakers or headphones, depending on how um, your setup is, uh, these are definitely gonna be your top choices here, either HDMI, which would be for a uh, regular TV or monitor setup. Um, and then if you have a different setup, you can obviously go through these other options as well. But HDMI headphones and speaker are probably gonna be your main ones here. So I'm just gonna switch back to HDMI. Um, the other thing that you can do here is your system volume here. Um, if you're through HDMI, this doesn't matter a whole lot. It's gonna be pretty much allowing your monitor or uh, television to dictate your volume, you know, either by your remote or your settings um, or controls rather on the side of your monitor or TV. So that's, um, you don't have to do a, a heck of a lot in here. Um, then down here, we just have some other options here. We have enable um, navigation sounds. That's just if you're going through your game collections and you have that kind of um, annoying sound as you're going up and down through those games. It kind of makes a little beeping sound. So if you want to disable that, as I have for our um, tutorial videos here, you would just select that. You can see I'm just hitting A, and it's going either on or off. Same thing for uh, video audio. This is going to be for your uh, gameplay demos that are in your game collection list. So if you don't want sound on the um, videos, you just want to see them, you could select that option and turn it off. I like having the sound, so I'm going to leave it on. And that's pretty much most of the um, settings on here for sound settings that you'd be going through. Um, there is some other options here, but they're not common um, options that you'd be going through. I'm also going to show you if we back out of this by hitting uh, B twice, we can go into our RetroPy configuration settings. And here we have the first option is audio. So if we go ahead and select that, you can see there are some audio options in here. Now this first option is just gonna show you what your setting is. So if you went and you changed it to your headphones um, through the audio jack on your Raspberry Pi, it would say here, um, either headphones or speaker. For me, it says HDMI because that's what I'm using. Um, I'm hooked up to a monitor here, which my sound is coming through. So if I went and selected this, it's just gonna say, um, just confirm that that's your audio output setting. So we can actually jump back out of that. I'm just gonna show you a couple other things on here. So we go back into audio. And here we have our mixer. You do need a keyboard setup in order to go through your mixer. So I'll just show you that quick. Um, this isn't a super common thing that you'd be doing, but we're here, so we might as well show you. So here we have the mixer. Um, you can either, you know, go up or down with the volume here. You see the numbers fluctuating as I go up and down. Um, you can do this through your main menu though with that volume um, up at the top. So you don't actually have to go in here, but you do need the keyboard in order to get out of here. So you'd hit escape just to jump out of this. And then the final option, we'll jump back into audio one last time. If you've gone and you've changed your settings around through either the main menu or here, and you just want to get back to your default settings, you can just jump down to reset to default. If you hit this option here, it's just going to uh, go back to your default settings, which will be the HDMI as the um, uh, audio source there. And then it'll bring your volume probably down to zero, which doesn't make a difference if you're going through HDMI because your TV or monitor is going to um, dictate your volume levels. But if you've gone through and you've kind of monkeyed with everything and you're not sure how to get back to your default settings, this is definitely the option you want to go to. So this is a common one. Just wanted to go over that for you. So if we go and we um, back out of this, we're pretty much done. I just wanted to give you a brief um, 
look at all the audio options here through main menu and also through the configuration settings in RetroPie. So that's going to do it for today. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up. Um, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole lot of um, RetroPie and Raspberry Pi tutorials, uh, gameplay demos, just a, a generally a lot of great content on here. And then, of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.